Hi! So, welcome back. I am Will, and I have... I don't know if it, you're like me, or... or I think we all have that series where we go, what the hell? And my one would be the Shannara books. And I've heard this pronounced different ways, because I've tried reading them, listening to the audiobooks. I've tried. I just, I can't. Um, I've heard it said Shannara. I've heard it said Shannara. And I just say Shannara because that's the way everyone else says it. So if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize, but I will just roll with that. Firstly, I have a very weird thing with these books. So they are a post-apocalyptic fantasy. So they're set in a world where, where, where at one point there was magic and fairies and everything, and then they went into hiding. Then there was some sort of war, big epic nuclear war that basically was a reset, and humans went their own way and did their own thing. So this is where we get kind of weird that the future post-apocalyptic world is this fantasy setting and post-apocalyptic fantasy is around there's nothing wrong with that there it's, it's a really weird little subgenre but it does exist so effectively these take place in a future fantasy north america with swords magic fairies elves and druids so yeah they i read them i've tried to read them I've tried, and I'm sorry if I offend people here, but I first heard of these books through that god-awful television series. Like, that TV show was bad, and I don't know why people love it so much. Well, actually, I know why people love it so much, because it's like, oh my god, representation. No, it's just a really bad TV show where they tack that on just to make people interested in it. It was bad. Bad, 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 bad. There is no redeeming feature. The books aren't as bad as the TV show. And why... It's kind of interesting going into them. Because I, I've tried so many times. I forced myself to go through them. And it didn't leave me as cold as the Wheel of Time books. I will say they are definitely a step up from the Wheel of Time for me. But these are basically post-apocalyptic Lord of the Rings. And it... So much of Lord of the Rings is in this. I find it strange that it almost, again, you hold it. It also has elements of Conan. So it has the elements of Lord of the Rings, but it's also elements of Conan. And it draws very heavily from those. So it's got the high fantasy, but it's got more action driven. It's... They're very weird, very uneven, and why there are some elements of the story I'm absolutely loving. There are definitely elements of the story where I've gone, well, this happened, this doesn't make sense. Why is this character doing this, and what's with all the angst? They're almost fanfic in places, and it feels like... Um, it feels like a... I don't know, it, it feels almost like a parody of fantasy. I mean, don't get me wrong, the guy that wrote them, are good, are good on Terry. I mean, go for it, but yikes, there's a lot said in this world. So I went through the main trilogy, the sequel trilogy, and a few of the, and I've tried, and I've just had to give up with them. I've tried so many times with these books, that I just feel like, yeah, they've got some great elements. I love the characters. I don't enjoy the world building as much. I don't enjoy how things are constructed and the sort of... The time frame... I know you have to spend, suspend disbelief with these kind of books. But the time frame between the end of Civilization and the rebirth of Civilization... It's so strange... And it just, I don't know, they, they could be amazing, but they just didn't grab me. And I felt like so many fantasy forums rave about these books, but, you know, they just didn't flow. They didn't feel particularly great. And it didn't, I feel like if they were separated from the post-apocalyptic thing a little bit, and although the first books don't explore that so much, it does become kind of the element of the backstory 
or at least put a bigger gap, like thousands upon thousands of years between it, it would have felt right. And when the magical races are humans that have basically evolved in some cases over such a short period of time, uh, again, science geek, so science brain switches on. But I didn't enjoy these books. I didn't enjoy the writing either. Like, there was so many good things going for them, but it just fell flat in that writing as well. The writing is so heavy and stunted and flat. There's a, all, a lot, not all of the characters, but a lot of the characters tend to sound the same. And the differentiation between them is kind of poor. So you end up feeling a bit like, what the hell? The whole bizarreness with it is also that the... Yeah, it just, it didn't flow. It's not well structured. And these would have been brilliant if it just felt less, less tacked on and less what it was. And I'm really disappointed because I thought I was going to like these or at least get into them. But maybe the TV show soured me a little bit. Maybe the fact that the TV show was as terrible as it is, and I have all those horrible shiny costumes and Xena-like special effects, Xena 1990 CGI special effects going through my brain with it. It just kind of... What the hell? It's... I mean, it's an interesting... I don't know, it just... It could, like I said, it could have been stunning, but it just felt so flat, and I don't know how to explain it. And I just wish that... It, I feel like there is so much great fantasy fiction of this era that doesn't get talked about, that doesn't get the love that it deserves, and yet these are held up as some prodigal child... It's really strange, and I just, um, what I would love to happen with this is, maybe I need to listen to the other books, maybe the other books get better, maybe, you know, it just, I do wonder, I do, and also, no, this is a writing thing, when your writing is contradicting the backstory of some of the events and key events. So you're contradicting your own timeline. Sometimes that really annoys me. So yeah, I know this is nitpicky. I know this is super nitpicky to say the least on the subject. But it was strange. As a, as a big lover of fantasy, this just didn't do it for me. I've tried for the last... Since I was a teenager to read these books and I just give up. But... And it's not because they're terrible. And it... But it's they're not great either. They're just middling. They are the middle child with all the issues and the therapist bills. <laughs>